you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I have another set by Floresis to show you guys. Do you want to know what I bought this time? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So I did another set that came with a whole lot of products that I took almost a year to do that video for you guys. And in that video, I told you that I had already ordered another set, which has already arrived. And this time I only let it sit in here for a few weeks. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I need to do this. I'm not gonna let it sit for another year. I want to see what is inside of this one and actually use it. So today I went with more of like a burgundy-ish type look because the last one I went with more like the browns. So I tried to do something a little bit different. If you want to see how I did this, I will show you at the end. But let's go ahead and dive in. Now I showed you how big and large and beautiful the box was that came in that bigger set. So this is pretty much the same but in a smaller concept because it is a smaller set. But again, it just has the most beautiful packaging. I love the teal. I love the colors. It's just... I've never seen such a beautiful box before. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then when you open it up, it opens up like this and then you do this. So this one did come with a gift bag as well. So if this is for somebody, you can actually stick it because this is the actual set. You can stick it down inside of this bag and give it to somebody. The other one had a big one where the whole jewelry box sat down in it. It was really deep because it was designed for that. So this one is designed to fit right down in here perfectly. Look at that. So again, if it is for a gift, they already have you gift bag ready. So this is the packaging that it came in. This is absolutely beautiful. This kind of reminds me of like an opal iridescent type right in here. My birthstone is opal. So anytime I see like opal or anything that resembles it, I think I like it. But the packaging is really, really pretty. Again, I like that like mother of pearl or whatever that is right there. The back looks like this. It does have this little handle to where you can hold it, but the way that it came, it was kind of pushed back like that, which is perfect because then it can sit on its own and it's out of the way. So I just leave it like that towards the back and then I can sit it like this in my display if I would like. But to open it, you have two little ribbon loops here and you just pull them apart. When you open it up, it has this beautiful design in the inside of the lid. So that's what that looks like. And then here is the eyeshadow palette. Again, I just used it for the very first time, but I put it back in so you can see how it comes. So you pull this out. Again, here is the eyeshadow palette. We'll get into that in just a second. It has the exact mold for it so it can stay right there. If you didn't want to put your palette in here, you could always use this for anything else you wanted to put in there. And then you can remove this. Down in here is a pair of earrings that this set came with and that's why I wanted this set because this actually is super pretty and I wanted the earrings. So that's why I got it in the set instead of just the palette by itself. But you can purchase the palette all by itself and save a lot of money. But here is the inside and it's like a ring. Like you can put like all your rings and stuff down in it, which the other one didn't have a slot for rings. So that's really kind of cool because I can put some jewelry in the other, some jewelry in here, or I can just keep the makeup in here. I don't know, whatever you want to do, you can. <laughs> you have that luxury to do whatever you want. But again, here is the bottom of it. You put this back in on the top and you close it up. That's how it is, simple and easy. It looks like a cute little purse. <laughs> but it is a jewelry box. So there's that guy. Now let's go and let me show you the earrings really quick. It came in this little bag. And I, it was like on their description for their website, I couldn't see what the material was made out of. So that's one reason why I was kind of waiting for a little bit because if this was a material that I think my ears would get infected with, I definitely didn't want to, to get them. So I was looking and looking and I couldn't really read anything from the description box, but in the like frequently asked questions, it somebody had asked what they were made out of and they responded that they're sterling silver. One of them has a little dangly dangly thing and one of them does not. But these are really, really pretty. Let me go ahead and put these on. That should complete my look then, right? Let me take, let me take all of these off just so you can see just this one pair. So there's just the hoop. 
me to <laughs> take these off. This does not happen much. <laughs> Seeing an empty ear, this does not happen much. Only a few times out of my life. So, there we go. I kind of wish, and I'm just being on my, my own opinion, because I'm one that I like things to match or look even. And to me, with one dangling and one not, to me, it looks like I lost the dangly thing in this side. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like things to match, even though, like I said, that's how they were designed. That's how they're, they're meant to be. But me personally, I would have preferred that they both had this dangly thing on both of them. But I guess if I got two pairs, then I could wear... <laughs> But I would have to buy two of these sets and I don't need two sets. So we'll just leave it the way that it is. So there is the earrings. So let's go ahead and go over the eyeshadow palette. This is how it came with this little protective sleeve that you just slide off. And then here is the front of it. It does have some nice like shine through it with some depth. You can feel like the, the texture. But you see the little shininess that shines through it. Super, super pretty. Ooh, is she wearing that earring right there? Is that what this is? <laughs> kind of looks like it, huh? This is the back, and it does have the little shiny part that goes through it as well. And then when you open this one up, it has two doors. You open them both up, but they're both magnetic, so they they yeah they magnetic back closed. So then when you open this one up, this one does not have a mirror, which is totally fine because I don't use them anyways. But look at this beautiness. I'm going to show you up close a little bit better image, but look, there's like horses going on down here. There's all of these wonderful images, just like the last one. I don't know how they do it. I've never seen anything like this, but it is just simply beautiful. Like I have never seen something so beautiful, especially with makeup. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to use, I was like, I was like trying to use little parts of the the thing without ruining it when I was trying to do my makeup, but I'm like, you gotta use it. So then like on this one, I was like going through the horse's body. And then this one I was tugging in here and I'm like, by the time I'm done, you're not gonna know what in the world that person is. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I do need to use it, but I wanted you guys to see it first so you can see the true beauty and all of that detail that is in there. I've never seen anything with this much detail in my entire life, other than this company anyway. This is now the second palette I've gotten from them, and I really enjoyed the last one, and I really enjoy this one, and I'm so glad that now I can have this, put this in my collection, and have this really, really pretty case to keep it in. So let me go ahead and swatch this entire palette so you can see the colors on my skin. Okay, you guys, so here is the entire palette swatched. This blue right here is super, super super pretty. I can't wait to put that on my lower lid and like use the browns above it. But even like this little iridescent type color looked more pinky in the pan and it doesn't on my skin. But look at all those colors. Those are really, really pretty neutral and it would probably go for everybody. <laughs> I absolutely love it and I just love how beautiful it is. Again, I've never seen anything like that until this brand. So I'm so glad that I did find this company a whole year ago. Um, there was a few little things that they did put in here. Let me just show you the little freebies that was sent. So also inside of the box, you do have this. I think this is like your authenticity card that I purchased it directly from Floresis. But um, that's what I'm assuming that this is. There's also a makeup removing wipe. It's a little wet wipe that is inside of here. I received that last time. That's why I know what's in it. <laughs> then there is this sample of different lipsticks that you can try out to see the different colors. This looks like a makeup remover. Looks like it would be like a makeup remover that was in there. And then lastly is this brush. I think this brush is in my other brush set. I'm not quite sure if it is. I'll just toss this in my giveaway pile for you guys because I definitely don't need two of them. But this is what it looks like. It has this little soft little edge here and then like a shadow one here. They're super soft brushes. And then the barrel right here, like this, the shaft is like a deep turquoise color. So that is everything that came in this kit. Again, I could have just purchased this eyeshadow palette by itself, but I waited this whole time to pull the plug and this was now back restocked with the earrings and I'm like, it's a sign. 
<laughs> it's a sign. Go ahead and get it. So that is what I did. And now I have it. So you guys comment down below and let me know, have you heard of this brand? Do you want to get anything from this brand? Are you eyeing something? Is something in your cart? Definitely let me know. And the same thing again, I thought it was going to just be like very, very lightly pigmented because plus I was trying to go in lightly because I didn't want to ruin the beauty because I wanted you guys to see it. Um, and I was surprised that I didn't have to use as much and I didn't have to keep going in as much. It actually was pretty pigmented um, and it did a good job. So I really like it. Let me know what you think down below. If you want to see how I did this quick and easy thing, that's how I do my makeup every single day, pretty much the same process, just different colors, different palettes. Um, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just showing you how I do what I'm comfortable with my own face. So if you'd like to see, here you go. So the plan for today is to go in with this color to go over my whole top lid, darken it up with this, and then do my lower lid with this shimmer. I will first start with my MAC Vanilla color to set it and then start using everything else from this palette. All right, you guys, so that is the quick and easy look that I created for you guys today, just so I can test this baby out, get it out of my recording room and into my vanity area. <laughs> so that is everything for today's video. Comment down below. Let me know what do you think of this eyeshadow palette? Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous and how they engrave a whole scenery throughout the entire pans? Like, oh my gosh, simply exquisite beautiful. I can't say anything else more about it. I just love, I love this brand. <laughs> so again, comment down below your positive interaction means the world. And I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill, keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty crew out.